Updated November 12, 2018 14 hours 53 minutes and 47 seconds Nearly all SANFL sides will be represented in the Women's League for the first time next year, with the announcement that Woodville West Torrens and Central District have come on board. The league is scheduled to begin mid-February and involve 10 minor round matches before a final series in May, SANFL Chief Executive Jake Parkinson said. It leaves just the AFL reserve sides in the Adelaide Crows and Port Adelaide without women's SANFL teams. Meanwhile, the naming rights for the men's league has been bought by Statewide Super, which has held the rights to the women's league since 2017, along with those of the mini-league competition played at halftime during men's matches. Mr Parkinson said it was a tremendous boost, for the strongest men's state league in Australia, a league which drew more than 40,000 to Adelaide Oval for September's grand final. Next year's Anzac Day clash between grand finalists Norwood and North Adelaide will be hosted by the Roosters at Prospect Oval. The men's league will start on March 29th and the Premiership Decider is slated for September 22nd, rule changes outlined. For 2019 the SANFL will also introduce a number of rule changes in 2019 in line with AFL adjustments. The most notable of those will ensure players are in traditional starting positions before each centre bounce. It will repeal the hands in the back roll during marking contests, although players will not be able to push in the back. A player will no longer need to kick to themselves to play on out of the goal square following a behind, while the man on the mark will be positioned at least 10 metres back from the square as opposed to 5 metres. And players awarded a 25 metre penalty, 50 metres in AFL, will be allowed to play on while they are moving forward during the advancement of the penalty. Norwood stands dismantled Meanwhile, the dismantling of the ball the stone stand and part of the western stand at Norwood Oval is underway in preparation for new club rooms. Nearly $10 million is being spent to refit Norwood Football Club NFC player facilities and medical areas, along with installing new change rooms that cater better for women's sport. The development includes a two-story club room that will feature a function centre and balcony overlooking the ground. New club rooms long overdue NFC Chief Executive James Fantasia said an on-site facility for fans, members and sponsors was long overdue after the club sold its former club rooms for housing during the 1990s. We've held a lot of club functions at other function centres, like the National Wine Centre, and that makes it awkward because while they are lovely venues, you're not getting the benefit of having an in-house show. He said, bringing our own functions back home will be an enormous cost saver to the club, plus the facility provides a revenue opportunity in the months we're not playing football, you can share that with the community for events and organisations that want to use the facility, all the other clubs have that facility, and we haven't, so it's well and truly overdue, but it is not without some challenges. The installation of flip chairs in the Western Stand has resulted in a reduction of seat numbers. We've got more subscriptions than seats and we'll have to address that into next year, Mr Fantasia said. That's the kind of knock-on effect that unfortunately, when you redevelop, leads you to make changes in other areas. Over light to be moved Norwood FC has been playing at the ground since 1901 and is a popular venue across the league as it offers football under lights on Friday nights. Mr Fantasia said he hoped to have most of the night games scheduled for the first part of the year because one of the oval lights needed to be moved for the new clubhouse. The heritage-listed southern stand is also getting a minor facelift, with the bench seats to be refurbished. We're doing one or two sections every year, Mr Fantasia said. They take the benches down, replace panels where they need to, sand them back and redo them, so there's a bit of work involved. The green-coloured seats have already been restored. 
wider community to benefit Emma Fantasia said the upgrade, which is due to be completed in November 2019, would be a benefit to the greater community. It's a boutique ground and we're very fortunate in that we're located in a popular suburb with great traders around us and just five minutes from the city, he said, we've introduced the opportunity to play. Other sports here, including lacrosse finals in the last couple of years, and the baseball has been replaced with AFLW football, which has been a big thing, for anything that's based around sport, education and health genres, we're trying to be a venue that supports those community-type activities. Topics, San FL, Australian Football League, Adelaide 5000, SA first posted November 12, 2018 13 hours 43 minutes and 24 seconds.